Hello, I'm going to make a pizza dough using the formula that Mascarpone Mazzarella, an Italian monk, used at the end of the 14th century. He made the first pizza in uh, history for a reverend father by the name of Father Parmigiano. When uh, he made the pizza, he didn't use yeast because it was uh, during the feast of uh, Passover when it was forbidden for people to eat anything that was uh, living. So anyway, we are going to use yeast in this uh, process. What he actually used was two whites of an egg. But we are going to use one white of an egg plus yeast. Now, this is the formula. You take hot water, that is 400 and, uh, 250 millimeters of hot water. We want to produce warm water. So you put it in the bay. Then you take uh, cold water, the same quantity. 250 milliliters just to keep the water warm so now you can taste it anyway uh, there's something I forgot uh, my hands are already washed but before I use my hands I have to st sterilize my my fingers with um, lemon with uh, lime juice I I decided to use this in my kitchen because uh, uh, to kill all bacteria and uh, parasites and fungi, we do exist. So that is one. Then after adding the water, you're gonna drop um, one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of granulated sugar then you gonna add the white of an egg so you're gonna break it in this way the white of an egg you gonna open it with your hands be careful so that the the yolk do not fall inside so make sure that you drain off completely the whites into the base. So you can throw away the, the yolk. Then you're gonna stir it together a little bit. Then add three four spoon, table four spoons of extra virgin olive oil. Three, that is one, two, three. You don't have to make it too much because uh, the, the dough is going to be too heavy. Then you stir it a little bit. Then you are going to add yeast. I prefer using French dry yeast. Uh, normally, in your homes, you may not have a um, uh, measuring uh, uh, cylinder, but you can use even gadgets, because when you are sorting your, your food in the house, uh, when you are cooking, most often you just gauge it with your eye. You're going to drop something like one gram. One, one and a half gram is enough. Then you stir it a bit. We are going to use two cups of baking flour, two cups. But there's a secret you must not forget. Using flour, you're gonna add some to, to, to stir the yeast before you're gonna add other flours. And uh, flours, the quantity of flour you're gonna use depends on how warm the water is. Even when we intend to use two or three cups of flour, you might end up using more 
It depends on the temperature of the room and of the water. So now you can now add more flowers until you can use your hand. You stir it a bit again, stir it. You can now stir it very fast. Then add more flour now. More flour. This is the second cup we are adding. The second cup of flour we are adding to the base. So before we start using hand, we make sure that it's not going to stain the hands too much. We are using this. Uh, this uh, ion mixer for the main time. You know, this is two cups right there. So it means the water can take more flour. So we're gonna add, you continue to add until you can use your hands to turn it. Because I prefer, actually prefer using hand to, to make uh, pizza dough. I remember the first pizzas I did in life, I used my hands to make the dough, to turn the dough, and I sold up to 300, 400 pizzas a day in Moscow when I was a pizza chef in uh, one cafe uh, called Katos Jacks. It's an American cafe, long time ago. So now you're gonna turn it again you may now resort to hand very soon because it's getting a little bit thick. So you can now add more flour and you can now use your hands. So the best pizza is made with hands. And uh, when mascarpone, mozzarella made the first pizza, it was record breaking. It was so nice. And uh, for that purpose, it was promoted because the, the, the father so much loved the pizza and uh, it was so, taste, so, so tasteful. So the secret of this pizza is the process. The ingredients used around the world might be the same. But the, the process with which it is done makes the difference. So in making this dough, make sure that you follow this process carefully. So you can also add a little more because it's still too, too mush, mushy on my hands to make it a little bit uh, easy to turn. So you turn it, use your blow and blow it, turn it until it is, until the whole flour is consumed and until it does not stain your hands. So that's it. You turn it, turn it until it is, it is, uh, Ton living because the yeast have to live in it, the flour, and uh, by the time you finish, you're gonna cover it for 45 minutes. I listen to a lot of uh, uh, videos where people have to you have to cover your pizza for 24 hours. Or oh, for two hours. What if, if somebody is hungry? So you have to find out what you can add to make it faster. So you, with with the recipe, this pizza is going to rise within uh, forty-five minutes, not even more. So when we are going to make bread, because in the future we are going to make healing bread and. Uh, some other uh, bread, baguettes, and whatsoever. We are going to use the same process, but 
only the ingredients is going to change. You want to use different ingredients to make it. So you turn it very fast. You can imagine if you are using a dough machine, but in the house, it's not every house that can have a dough machine. So that's why we, we I'm, I'm using this traditional way. The traditional way the the interior monk used many years ago. So how you are following it up, and um, you don't have to cut it because I know that most people cut it to size. It is it depends if you want to cut it to sizes. Then you can cut it to sizes and cover it. But I think you can also cover it if you like. You cover it full. You can cover it full and let it rise for some few minutes before you cut it to sizes and cover it again by the sizes of uh, the pizza you want to make. So if you are going to make pizza that is 30, uh, 32 centimeters, so you need nothing less than 150 grams of the pizza dough. So the pizza dough is ready. You can see it, it's ready. That is it. So now I'm gonna cover this dough right here for some minutes before I cut it to sizes. But if I want, for time purposes, I can cut it right away. So I hope you guys, you are following on. So you always have option. Life is full of options. So, and uh, I give you the option to either cut it, cut it to sizes. And uh, this is one, you can, you're gonna roll it into a ball, put it in the pan, in the pan, and then rub it with a little bit with olive oil, and uh, put it aside, cut another one. We are using eye gauge, because it's not always you we have this weigh machine to weigh the dough. So now we also rub this with a little olive oil. And uh, so you are gonna cover this, cover them up for 45 minutes, 45 minutes. So this, you can keep the big dough aside we are gonna use all of these two right now. So you cover it, cover them in a warm place. So you make sure that it is airtight, airtight, and uh, you don't have to cover, you don't have to open it before the four to five minutes is over. So you make sure you cover it completely airtight. That is it. We got it though. I'm gonna keep it in a one place, not too hot, because if it is too hot, the the yeast is going to bust and uh, rise too fast. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel because we'll be coming out with different recipes from time to time. Bye.